Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am wearing, I'm filming two videos in one day so I'm wearing the same outfit. I'm just too lazy to change. I'm sorry. I was gonna put in the effort, you know, to make my outfits different for every video but like I, I can't. I'm too lazy for that. Uh, so we're going to be doing, I think, a highly anticipated video for you guys. It's been highly anticipated for me because I have not shut up about this book. As you can tell by the title, we're talking about Into the Drowning Deep by Mira Grant today, and I'm gonna gush all of my feelings because I like, I can't not do it anymore, you know what I mean? All right, I'm comfy now, let's get started. Um, so I guess we'll start with the summary first so that if you haven't read this and you haven't heard me talk about it yet, you're obviously new, not a bad thing. Welcome, hi, my name's Erin. I'm obsessed with this book, um, but, like, we're gonna talk about it so that you will go pick it up. I have already had so many people comment and say that they've added it onto their TBR because I won't shut up about it. To those of you that are saying that, I'm sorry. I know I'm being annoying, but, like, I haven't had anyone to talk about this with. Normally, I talk to my mom about the books that I'm reading, but, like, she wants to read this, so I can't. Then I go to my grandma, but she'll probably read this too because she's an even more avid reader than I am. So like, I have no one. My sister doesn't care. The only person that I've talked to about this is a person that doesn't care about books, which is like fine, but like also like I'm dying. So this is a science fiction horror novel about sirens, mermaids, whatever you want to call them. Basically this book starts, like the prologue starts where it's like 2015, I think, and the main character, Tori, her older sister, is going to make this mockumentary for a company called Imagine. This is holding, this is hurting my hand, so I'm setting it down. Anyway, she's going to make, be the personality of this mockumentary for this company called Imagine about mermaids. They're not expecting to find anything and so they don't really take it very seriously. Obviously it's a mockumentary, not a documentary. Um, and so they go out completely unprepared and there are no survivors on the ship and also no bodies. The ship comes out completely ragged um, and washes up to shore a few days later. There are also different articles of different accounts where people have disappeared and it's intense. Um, after the Atargetus, that was the ship that they were meant to film the mockumentary on, um, like, after that whole incident, seven years later, Imagine is doing the same thing, essentially, with a lot more equipment, a lot, they're just more prepared in general, so they're recruiting the best marine biologists and cytologists, um, for this mission that this, like, relates to their field. Of work um, they hire security granted they're not there to do much it's pretty much just for looks um, they hire bounty hunters that are there to do something um, and they hire again another camera personality and cameraman um, but the the ship is also just m meant to like take on a lot and be very accessible for um, scientists to study on, but then also change so that it can be retired, or not retired, but like transitioned into a cruise ship once this mission is done. Um, so it's the year 2022, and they go out to the Mariana Trench, much more prepared, and they find the sirens again, and it's intense. I'm not explaining it well at all. Um, I would genuinely recommend reading this if you can. I absolutely loved it. Obviously, I gave it a four out of five stars. Um, the reason that I, it didn't get a full five stars from me is a very personal thing. Um, and that is there are ch like little sections in there that talk about like the state of the earth and how quickly it is dying. And that is something that genuinely gives me anxiety. I will have full blown panic attacks. And so for that to be, it's very much something that I need to work on because it is reality. But like, I hate it. I hate it so much. I avoid it any, any way possible. Uh, and so that is just a very personal thing. Once I figured out like 
once I could gauge where I thought those sections were going to be, I was able to skip over them and that made the reading experience much more enjoyable for me. I just did not enjoy that commentary. I did not feel it was necessary. And like I said, it triggered anxiety for me. So that is something that I didn't like. Um, another really popular critique for people is that the ending was rushed and that is one that I would very much agree with. Um, it just felt very, very quick, but I do believe we are getting a sequel, which hopefully we are because I do see room for the story to expand, not necessarily for like the main voyage that we saw in this, but just the events afterward. Um, so I do think that the the sequel is possible and it wouldn't be unnecessary like a lot of young adult sequels tend to be. So those are my non-spoilery thoughts. Uh, something else really quickly that is non-spoilery that I will mention is the fact that this is multiple points of view. I didn't find it like super confusing. Um, to go back and forth between different points of view. I will say that a lot of them are not completely likable. They are morally gray and that is something that again I really really appreciated. Something that I also didn't expect was the amount of humor in this book and that made it easier to read. So while it is a horror novel there is plenty of humor like put in there and it doesn't feel like wrong it feels very very natural and that made it really really it made it a lot easier for t me to read so that it didn't like completely keep me up at night and give me nightmares so that is something else that if you're apprehensive about reading a horror novel like I was I wouldn't worry about it too too much um because I can't do horror I cannot do scary movies at all I can't do like thriller books generally but sometimes I like to torture myself and read one anyway uh, and I generally end up loving them but like it scares me so I have to space those out um, but yeah highly recommend it it was very very good if you're not one who typically reads horror or science fiction I still absolutely loved this and I would I think that it is worth trying spoilery thoughts um, I have a few, there are lots of things that I want to talk about, but it's been a while since I've read this, so I'm going to pick a couple of things that, um, are on the tip of my tongue that I want to talk about. Uh, first of all, I love Lewis and all of his sarcastic comments. He was genuinely probably my favorite character and, like, favorite character to read from, but just any time we had scenes with him, I loved him. He made the situation so much better every single time, I think. Um, I absolutely loved his sarcastic comments when people were being serious, but also just being jerks. Uh, loved him. He was my favorite, I swear. Uh, but he was not my favorite scientist. My favorite scientist was for sure Heather, and she did not deserve her end. I mean, she kind of did because, like, she didn't listen, um, and that was super frustrating to read from, but, like, I get it. Um, but, like, why did she have to be the first one to die? Like, she was my favorite. I was, her scientific field was genuinely the one that I was the most interested in, like, literally from the moment that we met her I was so excited and so intrigued when she was talking about her line of work like I was obsessed and I was obsessed with her pod like I just thought it was all so so cool and I wish that they had another one on board but it would have been unnecessary so like I get it but like oh I loved I loved Heather I hated Jason. I feel like that is a common, like I don't think that that's going to be an unpopular unpopular opinion when more people read this, which hopefully they will. I know that some of you guys told me that you will. Thank you. Um, but like I hated him so much and literally when he was taking the microorganisms to his boss, I think, um, from the mermaid's hair or scalp or whatever, um, I was like oh my gosh like I don't want to read from your perspective you're annoying you're rude and you're mean like I don't like you and then two pages later he died and I was like okay when I said that I didn't want to read from your perspective anymore I didn't really mean that you had to take it that far but I guess we're gonna do this so bye um so like that was interesting 
also when they were literally just any of the scientific jargon in this book was so intriguing to me like it was sometimes more intriguing than the action scenes I just I loved it I loved it so much oh my goodness another unlikable the other unlikable characters in my opinion in this book were the bounty hunters they were just so gruesome and I could not get on board um but when Mitchy and Jacques died my heart broke I don't know why because I didn't really care about them as characters I thought they were mean and too brutal and just so harsh and I wasn't a fan I wasn't a fan of their line of work either because I just love animals and it breaks my heart um but like when Mitchie died and then Jacques literally like sacrificed himself to the sirens my heart just like shattered into a million pieces I was so sad tears were threatening to come out of my eyes it was genuinely so so sad um and I got so scared because like part of me was like oh that's really sad that they died but then like the horrible part inside of me was like oh my gosh what are they gonna do if they don't have anybody to kill the mermaids are they all gonna die <laughs> like I was thinking of the well-being of the ship as a whole and I was like so stressed out also the mermaid where they were learning to sign to each other that was so interesting like I loved that and I hope that if and when we get a sequel that the sequel really expands upon that because I just I loved it so much and I want and like they she literally he I think it was a he literally saved them like that was so cool I loved it so much um also the dolphins didn't deserve their end like that was really rude in my opinion like, I was hoping at least one of them would make it back. Like, why did you turn around? Like, just just keep swimming. Literally, Dory told you to do it. You should probably listen. Also, I don't even know if this is real, but the fact that they were able to communicate to dolphins, like, I literally, I, I didn't do any research on this. But if that's real, that is the dopest thing ever. Like, I think that is so cool. And I think that maybe if it's not real, we should take some advice. <laughs> <laughs> learn how to do that because that's so cool um anyway that is my nonsensical review as always I feel like none of my reviews are ever sensical but here we go here's another one for you I hope that you guys enjoyed me I'm blabbing on about Into the Drowning Deep yet again um I'm sorry that I was a mess in this video I'm a mess in every video so like I think that maybe you should just expect it from here on out but I loved gushing about this. I'm going to try and shut up a little bit about this book and give it a rest. Uh, but I hope that you guys read this if you haven't. If you have, I really hope that you enjoyed this and that I didn't hype it up too much for you. I'm really sorry if I did. Uh, but like I loved it and so I'm glad that you guys are giving it a chance. Anyway, that's it for this video. That's it for this review. That is it for Into the Drowning Deep for a little while. I don't know how long, but like a little bit. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope to see you all in my next one. Bye guys. Did you, have I talked about this a lot? Yes. Do I shut up about it? No. <laughs> Do you want to come tell them that I don't shut up about it so they know it's not just like a camera thing? She doesn't shut up about Into the Drowning Deep. She doesn't ta stop talking about how she is now legitimately afraid of mermaids. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you that in this video yet. I haven't mentioned it. But like, legitimately, my friend got me a gag gift that had mermaids on it. And I like, threw it because I got scared. She won't stop talking about how she's never going swimming in the ocean again. Um, not even going to the beach because she's scared. <sighs> The mermaids are going to come and capture her and Okay, her. no, they're not, because in this one, they're, like, way out in the Mariana Trench. But I'm, like, definitely not going to go tubing in the ocean, like, ever. Well, what about the lake? The lake's different. They don't mermaids live... Mermaids could be in the lake. Okay. They could be freshwater mermaids. Okay, but, like, they are not in this, <laughs> and I'm going off of this. This is, like, my survival guide. <laughs> Your daily dose of dog. Oh, hi. Okay, okay. <laughs> I really hi. Love that Thumbnail. And I'm gone. I'm only after that for doctor, please.